Uh, sorry, it's a little dark. I'm trying to get into the light a little better, but unfortunately I can't. It's just dark in here. What can I say? Um, I just wanted to talk about something that's kind of ticking me off, to be quite honest with you. Um, I'm on disability currently. I have been for the past five years. Um, actually, longer than that since I had a nervous breakdown. Um, I haven't worked and unfortunately with uh, the condition of my health and the constant dialysis treatments and appointments and everything else, I am unable to work. Um, I struggle, I'm not going to lie. Um, we do have a hard time from month to month. Um, we manage to pay off our regular bills. Um, but I did incur some debt when I was, uh, before I got sick. And now I have bill collectors calling on a regular basis, multiple times a day, and there's nothing I can do to pay these guys off. Now, I keep explaining that to them, and it doesn't really help, um, my situation at all that these guys are calling and stressing me out it's really not good for my health and i've explained that to them um they want to do a settlement possibly and uh, unfortunately even with the settlement i'm not going to be able to afford to pay these guys off um it kind of pisses me off pardon the expression but uh I know a lot of people that are on disability as well as others that are getting old age and stuff like that and others that get tax returns who don't pay taxes. Um, I'm not going to mention who these people are or anything of the sort. I'm sure you guys know probably what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, it just, it kind of makes me angry. Uh, I see people off in Florida and I see people going off to New York and all these different places in the States and having a grand old time. And I know for a fact that they don't play, pay, they don't pay taxes. And I think it's a little, uh, uh, uh how do I say this? It's a uh, kick in the ass, I guess, from the government by them giving out these fees and these funds and these credits to people that don't pay taxes or pay little taxes but yet for somebody like myself who is struggling from a day-to-day -day basis i can't get help from the government and the money that actually they are helping me in a certain way by giving me an rdsp but that's untouchable until the age of 60. Now, I'm only 35, and to be quite honest with you, I don't think I'm going to live to be 60, and this money basically is just going to go back to the government, and I don't think it's right. I would love to access these funds and be able to do something with my family regards to um, whether it be a two-day trip, well, it would have to be a two-day trip because I go to dialysis Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, so I only have Saturday and Sunday to myself. Um, but I would like to do something with my family that would get us away from home and out of the ordinary because, let's be honest, for the last five years, all I've been doing is going to dialysis and home or I'm being shipped to the hospital because I'm so sick and they have to come the family has to come visit me um other than that you know like my my son witnessed me having a seizure he's only nine he just turned nine now i don't think that everything he's been through in his life due to my circumstances is fair to him and honestly i don't think it's fair to the wife either as you know like she's She's been through a lot. I mean, you, it's common sense. Just, you know, like for somebody that's never seen anybody have a seizure before, it was pretty scary for her to see me foaming at the mouth um, and unresponsive. And it also was a lot for her to have them put me into a coma so that I was able to breathe. 
Um, yes, they did in, in, intubate me. Um, I needed a ventilator to be able to breathe. I, my breathing was so shallow that I'm lucky at the time that I was still beer breathing because uh, from what I have heard, uh, I could have been dead by not breathing the way that I should have been. Like, it's, it's a scary situation to be in just for myself, but also for the people that have to witness it and have to be there to, um, be there to basically ensure my safety, you know, like, and it just, it ticks me off to see all these people going out and having these grand old times and not paying any taxes and getting this money from the government to go out and do all this stuff. I don't think it's right, and I don't think it's right that the government is now putting on in this uh, carbon tax, which is going to make it even more difficult for me to get to my treatments because that means that the price of gas it just just went up the other day at to a dollar 23 and on monday tomorrow it will be going up even more so yeah that's going to make it a lot more difficult for me and uh, my family and it does cause tension in the household and it's really it's starting to get me down I like I said I'd love to be able to take my family on a little trip somewhere and do something even if it's only a couple hours away just to go for a little camping trip or you know just to kind of clear our minds of everything that's going on and forget about it and just have a good time as a family like it's it's really really weighing on my shoulders and honestly I don't know what to do especially now that my doctor doesn't want to seem to help me get these funds. Um, I was told that if I was able to get a note from the doctor stating that I don't have that long to live, which, let's face it, I've been on dialysis for five years now, and um, with type 1 diabetes, um, the life expectancy is only 10 to 12 years, so five of those years have already passed. And on top of that, I've also got celiac disease and I've got hyper, hypothyroidism. Well, I had hyperthyroidism, but I had radiation treatment and they burnt my thyroid a little too much. So now I have hypothyroidism, which means basically that my thyroid doesn't work as much as it should be. So I've got multiple diseases and multiple conditions that are affecting multiple systems in my body, which obviously is going to be the death of me. Um, when, I don't know. I know I should be living day by day and just, you know, like enjoying my life. And I do. But at the same time, it's depressing because it's repetitive. The same thing, day in, day out, go to dialysis, come home, go to dialysis, come home. Weekends, stay home. Usually I'm too, I've got too much, um, I don't have too much energy, sorry. Um, and I don't know what to do. It's very frustrating. The bank doesn't want to help with anything unless I've got collateral to put down, which I don't because we're already paying for a mortgage. Um, and at the same time, they want a co-signer, which the only person I have is my wife. And at the same time, she's on the same payment plan as me as she's my caregiver. So any funds that come into this house belong to the both of us. So it's not like she's got her own her own income and I've got my own income and there's nothing to put up for collateral because like I said the house is already up for collateral with our mortgage um, I it's just it's really frustrating so I I can I could use some help if any of you are interested I would really love for you guys to give a donation or share my campaign as much as possible it would be nice, like I said, just to even get it a couple hours away from home, spend the night in a hotel, you know, like just go out, even if it's going to a movie or uh, an arcade with the little one or just something that's fun that he'll remember and that my wife will remember that other than being a caretaker and having to take me here and take me there. I know it weighs a lot on her, 
especially because she's the driver as well. And she's hoping that uh, my kidney transplant, my pancreas transplant, will come sooner than later so that all of this running will be done. So yeah, I don't know uh, what to say other than that. I just had to get that off my chest. I'm hoping that um, somebody out there somewhere will be able to give a hand. Um, so I'm going to close this off. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, guys.